For today's tip, I'm going to show you how to take the output of a single fader and send it to multiple locations. So right now our mix, our master fader, is only feeding the output of the M-Box so we can monitor it. But here on this adjacent track, I want to record my mix. This track is being fed by the print bus. What I need to do is take the output of my master fader and route it to two locations. You do that by holding the control key and adding buses. So here's the control key. Click. Click on my output. I can see I'm currently feeding the M-Box out. And I also want to feed the print bus. So a couple things happen now. Our print bus, our mix is getting fed to the print bus track. If I hold my cursor up here, we'll see that we're feeding both the M-Box output and the print bus. And another visual cue is that there's a little plus sign right there telling me that this fader is routed to multiple outputs. So what I could do now is record my mix on this track. I've got it muted here so I'm not double monitoring it out of the M-Box. After I record the mix, I can solo the track up, come out of record, take the mute off, and play it back. There are a lot of reasons why you would want to record a mix on a track instead of bouncing it out, and this is one way to route your master fader to multiple locations.